Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Sawyer Center. SNU men's basketball ready to take the court against Oklahoma Baptist. It's the first time the SNU men have played a game since December 18th when they came out with a 75-64 win on the road at Drury. And they take on Oklahoma Baptist tonight, renewing their rivalry that has intensified over the past several seasons as the Bison have risen back up under head coach Jason Aker. And speaking of, before we get into the broadcast, our thoughts and prayers with Jason Aker and his family. He's not in attendance tonight. He is with his father, Allen, an Oklahoma Baptist great, dealing with some pretty significant health problems. But we are thinking of him, praying for him and his family tonight. And you can rest assured both teams thinking about him as well in his absence here tonight. On the court, the Crimson Storm looking for their first conference win of the season. They come into tonight's game 5-5, five 0-4 and five, oh and four in Great American Conference play. It's the worst start for SNU since they started 0-5 oh back in the 0-1-0-2 season. SNU trying not to copy that mark tonight and get a win over the Bison. The Bison won three of four in this matchup last year, including a 60 to 57 win in Bethany, their first in the Division II era. Essen, was up by 14 with under eight minutes to play, but the Bison came all the way back to steal that one. So the Bison have won three in a row, five of six against the Crimson Storm over the past two seasons. They're looking for more here tonight as they come into tonight's game, nine and four, six and one in conference. They've won four in a row and six of seven. They're finally healthy. They got Harrison Stoddart back two games ago. He was feared to have torn his ACL in the season opener against Wayne State. Turns out it was just a different knee injury. And so he was able to rehab and come back. And much like SNU, the Bison have been Struggling with injuries. Brantley Thompson has missed time. Jordan Thompson has missed time. Pretty much everyone has missed a little bit of time, but they have been buoyed by the appearance of transfer senior Burke Putnam, transfer from Valdosta State, Tulsa, Oklahoma native. But he has come on strong for the Bison this season, leading the conference and scoring at 21 and a half points per game this season. And he will lead the Bison into the Sawyer Center. SNU fully healthy themselves. Ty guy is back. And it's our first chance to see the Western Carolina transfer. Played in the season opener against Sioux Falls. Scored 25 points. Made five three-pointers. But broke a finger. And has been out ever since the game against Drury. On 12-18 was his first game since the season opener. And he scored 29 points on seven made threes in that contest. So the Crimson Storm fully healthy with their full complement. Oklahoma Baptist fully healthy with their full complement. It should be a dandy here this evening. Starting line is being introduced on the court right now. Let's run through those for you. First for the visiting Bison of Oklahoma Baptist. First up, number three, senior guard Jaquan Sims, 6'3 from Covington, Georgia, 11.4 points per game and three rebounds per game this season. Number four, junior forward Nigel Wilcox, 6'6 from Alpharetta, Georgia, eight points, seven rebounds per game this season for Wilcox. Number five, senior guard Burt Putnam, 6'3 from Tulsa, Oklahoma, 21 and a half points, six and a half rebounds per game this season. Number 10, senior guard Brantley Thompson, 6'3 from Tuttle, 13 and a half points, three rebounds, four assists per game this season for Brantley. And in the middle, number 20, senior forward Harrison Stoddart, 6'7 from Edmond, 11.3 points through three games this season along with five rebounds. For your Southern Nazarene, Crimson Storm. 
under head coach Adam Bohach in his 14th season at the helm here in Bethany. First up, number zero, junior guard Adokie EIA, 6'3", from Oklahoma City. The Putnam City North product is averaging 15 points and three rebounds per game this season. Number three, junior guard Xavier Bryant, six foot from Dallas, Texas, 11.3 points, 5.3 assists per game. This season, he's number one in the conference with 2.6 steals per game. Number 13, freshman guard Tyler McGuy, 6'5 from Denton, Texas. In two games, he's averaging 27 points and three and a half rebounds. And number 15, junior guard Jalen Lynn, six foot from Collierville, Tennessee. 12 points per game, three and a half rebounds per game. And in the middle, number 21, sophomore forward Nick Davis. 6'9 from Arlington, Texas, seven, foot, seven points per game, three and a half rebounds per game. He's number one in the conference in field goal percentage at 69.4% this season. Just a quick reminder, across the conference tonight, no game for Southern Arkansas tonight against Arkansas Monticello. The Southern Arkansas men dealing with a COVID pause. And also the Harding men continue to deal with a COVID pause that forced the postponement of last Saturday's game against Southern Nazarene. The Bison were scheduled to play Arkansas Tech tonight. That one will not take place. Wilcox and Davis set to jump center circle for the for this one. The Bison in their traveling green. Oklahoma Baptist across the front. Wilcox wins the tip. And we are underway. Burke Putnam controlling for the Bison on the right side. Now Stoddart back to Putnam. Jalen Lynn getting the assignment early. Brantley Thompson, right wing three, is on the way and short. Rebound tipped out of bounds by Wilcox, and it'll be SNU basketball. Our first look at Tyler McGuy. And 6'5 sharpshooter. He's made 12 three pointers in two games. And that would considerably open up this SNU offense. EIA to Davis, top of the key. Now Lynn on the right wing. Down low, EIA working on Sims. Spins away. It's caught on the baseline. Kicks it out to Lynn. Eight on the shot clock. Lynn. Looking for help. Finds it in Bryant. Bryant. Shakes free of Thompson, fadeaway three at the shot clock buzzer. Xavier Bryant nails it, and the Crimson Storm lead 3-0. One way to start the contest. Putnam behind the Stoddard pick, up to Thompson. Sims has it as Bryant tried to shoot the passing lane. Out to Thompson. Over to Stoddard now. EIA has the assignment there. Wilcox faces up on Davis. Down low to Thompson. Back to Wilcox, bobbled it, kicks it back out. Sims. With a pump fake to the foul line. Wilcox down low, blocked by Davis, and it goes out of bounds prior to the shot clock expiring. And that is a turnover. Great defense by Davis on the drive by Wilcox as Davis picks up his ninth block of the season. Josh Davis and Zach Rogers, Oklahoma Baptist assistants, controlling things on the bench tonight in the absence of Jason Aker. Bryant down low to Davis, wide open, and he lays it in for two. But the Crimson Storm jump out to a 5-0 lead here in the early going. Thompson drives, lift it back for Putnam, tipped away by Lynn. Lynn races to it, got there first, left hand layup is good! And a 7-0 lead for the Crimson Storm. Thompson drives baseline, cut off, out to Stoddart. Three-pointer on the way is good from Harrison Stoddart. And the Bison on the board. Stoddart knocked down a career-high six on Tuesday at Washita, part of a 20-point performance. EIA controlling between the circles against Sims. Driving, cut off, knocked away by Sims, and it's stolen by Sims. Sims, cross court, sit to Thompson. He'll pull up over Bryant. Off the back iron, no good. And EIA soars in for the rebound. 
and missed the baseline with his heel by about a millimeter. EIA behind the Magai pick all the way in. Bumped by Thompson, takes the contact and lays it in with a left hand. Nine three, SNU leads Putnam crossover. Three pointer on the way is long. And Bryant the other way. In the corner to Lynn. Lynn has it on the left wing. Checked by Putnam. Now Magai with it. Knocked out of his hands by Wilcox. Jordan Thompson, DJ Freeman check in for the Bison. Mo Wilson will check in for Nick Davis. DJ Freeman, the freshman from Midwest City, Cassidy High School here in Oklahoma City. Jordan Thompson, another local product out of Southmore. He's a sophomore. Well, by experience, a sophomore. By technicality, he's a freshman still. As Magai gets into the paint and knocks down the floater. And SNU off to a great start. Five of five from the field. All five starters have scored. And SNU leads 11 to three. 16.29 to go, first half. Putnam gives it to Freeman up top. He'll hand to Thompson. Thompson behind the Stoddart pick. Over to Stoddart. Back to Thompson. Now Putnam with it right wing. Working on Lynn. He crosses over. Gets in the paint. Right hand shot off the glass over Magai is good. Burke Putnam with his first bucket. Averaging 21 and a half points while shooting 50% from the field. Magai with Stoddart on him. Checked and fouled by Stoddart. And that'll take us to our first timeout. 15.58 to go, first half. 11 to five, the Crimson Storm with the lead over the Bison. We'll be back after this. This is SNU Basketball. Welcome back to the Sawyer Center, 11 to five, the Crimson Storm leading Oklahoma Baptist here in the early going, four minutes gone by. Tyler McGuy inbounds it to Xavier Bryant. No change either lineup out of the timeout, excuse me, Manny Dixon is in as EIA will take a seat for SNU. McGuy into the paint, kick corner Bryant, got Putnam to fly by. Now Bryant missed a wide open Mo Wilson underneath Bryant. Pivots all the way in, left-hand layup, crawls in as he got it over the outstretched arms of Harrison Stoddart. What a shot from Xavier Bryant. One of the mini storm players, super crafty with the ball. He's done well this season thus far. Thompson controlling up top against Manny Dixon. Now Jordan Thompson brings it back out behind the screen from Stoddart. Thompson working on the taller Magai. Fakes the pass, sends it back up to Putnam. Eight on the shot clock. Putnam behind the legs dribble. Got Lynn to fly by, and he got the floater to go. Lynn bit on the pump fake, and Putnam with four points now. 13 to seven. SNU with the lead. Thompson, or excuse me, Bryant in the corner. Lynn, he'll rise and fire for three. In and out, no good. And that's the first miss of the night for SNU. Putnam behind the back, gives it to Stoddart. Now left side, Thompson. Over to Putnam. Putnam drives past Lynn. Forced it up. Thought he got fouled. Missed the shot on an air ball. Wilson outlets it quickly to Dixon. 
Dixon leaves it for the trailing Magai. Now over to Wilson. Wilson tried to go back door. Freeman knocked it away from him. Wilson on the baseline. Skip pass in the corner to Dixon. Out to Lynn and went through his hands, but he recovers with 13 on the clock. Magai with Stoddard on him. Crosses over. Step back three on the way from Tyler Magai. And he got it. First three-pointer of the game. Game for Magai. He's got five, and SNU leads 16 to 7. Freeman gives it to Putnam. Putnam drives on Lynn. Lynn ripped it away from him. Lynn, the defensive stopper on this team. We talked to Andrew Hudeberg, the assistant coach, before the game as Bryant drives in, kicks it out. Manny Dixon, corner three, and that's money. Money Manny from the corner. And SNU leads by 12, 19 to 7. Jordan Thompson between the circles working on Bryant. Down low to Brantley Thompson. Magai has the assignment. Thompson banging, fading away, and hitting Brantley Thompson as Josh Rogers, or excuse me, Josh Davis with a timeout for the Bison. 30 second timeout. Julia, to finish that thought from earlier, Cisco Jandrew Huteberg mentioning that any, any standout player for the opponent under 6'6", basically, Jalen Lynn at six foot is going to get that assignment, and he's got that defensive stopper reputation this season. Yeah, six foot, I mean, it's short in the basketball world if you want to look at it that way, but in the real wor world, that's, you know, pretty average height. But for basketball, not the tallest guy on the floor, but he definitely makes up for it on the defensive end. 19-9, the Crimson Storm leading. Three of four from three-point range. They're eight of nine from the field. And SNU averaging 10 made three-pointers per game over their last three. Lynn and Bryant and Wilson take a seat. Ian Mowat, Nick Davis, and Adokie EIA back in. And Ian Mowat's first contest since December 4th against Southeastern. Foul on Jordan Thompson is his first, second on the team. McGuy gets it into EIA. He's checked by Jaquan Sims. EIA wide open, top of the key for three, left it short. Long rebound comes out to McGuy. McGuy over to Moat. Moat behind the screen, pestered by Thompson, but he recovers. Moat looking for help. Drives, dumps it down low to Davis. Davis kicks it out to Dixon, back up top. Magai wide open three, short. Davis tried to tip the rebound out, but Thompson secured it. Trey Green and Nigel Wilcox back in for Oklahoma Baptist. Green gives it to Sims right side. Down low to Wilcox, faces up on Davis. Wilcox will rise and fire and knock down the 10-footer. Nigel Wilcox was his, with his first bucket. Wilcox fourth in the conference, shooting 64% this season. Mowat drives by Thompson. The help side is there. Now Magai with it. Over to Dixon. Dixon guarded by Trey Green, Kingfisher product. Davis looking for help up top, guarded by the smaller Freeman. Davis dribbled, kicked it away. Thompson has it. Coming the other way, drives all the way in. Floater over Magai is short. DJ Freeman, the offensive rebound, knocked away from him by Davis. And SNU will walk it up here with 11.42 to go first half. We're due for a timeout. Next dead ball, 19 to 11, our score. Davis, skip pass over to Magai, guarded by Wilcox. Magai, shot fake, drives, stops, kick corner, EIA, three-pointer on the way, cha-ching from Adokie, EIA, and the lead back to 11 for the Crimson Storm. Fourth made three by the Storm. Might be a shooting clinic all night long here in the Sawyer Center. Thompson, a couple crossovers on Moat, got inside, got it to go, and the foul on Ian Moat. And that'll take us to a timeout. 11.09 to play, first half. 22 to 13. SNU with the lead over Oklahoma Baptist. We'll take time and be back after this. 
Sell online tickets directly from your school's website. Scan digital or printed tickets with the Hometown Gate app. And get immediate access to ticket revenue with real-time reporting. At no cost to your school. It's that easy to bring touchless ticketing to your hometown. Hometown. Fast scans, happy fans. Twenty-two to thirteen, Southern Nazarene leads Oklahoma Baptist. Eleven oh nine to play here in the first half. The Crimson Storm off to a scorching start from the field thus far. And they've already knocked down four three pointers. They're nine of twelve from the field. Jordan Thompson at the line for a free throw, looking to complete a three-point play. Seventy-three percent at the line this season. He knocks it down, and he'll check out as Brantley Thompson comes back in. Burke Putnam and Harrison Stoddard also back in as the original starting five out there for the Bison. Xavier Bryant, Jalen Lynn, and Mo Wilson also back in for SNU as Nick Davis, Ian Mowat, and Magai take a seat. Bryant to Lynn. Now Dixon with it left wing, guarded by Wilcox. Now over to Wilson. Wilson hands to EIA. EIA bumped out top by Stoddard. He goes right at him. Too strong off the glass. Dixon crashed hard. Comes out to Lynn. Fresh 20 on the clock. And now we've got a inadvertent reset. So now we're going to have to go to the table and see where the shot clock should be. Of course, the problem now is with the reset if there's going to be enough time left. And they do say that. So they've put three seconds on the shot clock here for SNU. And SNU will inbound on the sideline in front of Oklahoma Baptist's bench. Manny Dixon, the trigger man, gets it into EIA. EIA has to force it up. Burke Putnam with the block. SNU bench wanted contact. Bounce pass ahead to Wilcox, and he throws it down with two hands on the break. 22-16 as the Bison creeping back in. Lynn blows by Thompson to the baseline. Tried to go back to Wilson. It goes all the way in the backcourt. Brantley Thompson tracks it down in the corner, sets his feet, fires a three. It's an air ball. Jaquan Sims comes in for the offensive rebound. Pump fake. Hook shot is no good. And Wilson the rebound. OBU wanted a foul on the box out as Stoddart went down. Lynn has it on the left side here for OBU. In the corner to Dixon. Now out to Wilson. Wilson working on the smaller Sims. And a foul coming up on Jaquan Sims. That'll be the first on Sims, third team foul on the Bison. Magai checks back in for Manny Dixon. DJ Freeman back in for Sims. Stoddart will sit down as well as Jordan Thompson's back in. Inbounds pass comes to Lynn on the back door. He's wide open for two. So Jalen Lynn with four to go along with two steals, and the lead is eight. Freeman on the right wing. Thompson now over to Putnam. Now in the corner, Tom, Brantley Thompson drives on Magai. Another fadeaway. Magai got a piece of it. Wilcox tips it out to Jordan Thompson. Three on the way is no good. Wilson with a nice box out on Wilcox to track down the rebound. Wilson will bring it into the front court. 
against the freshman Freeman. Drive, kick corner, Lynn. Lynn behind a couple screens. Now gives it back to Wilson. He'll hand to Magai. Magai has Wilcox on him. He'll set his feet. Three-pointer on the way and good from Tyler Magai. Wilcox went under, and you can't do that on Tyler Magai, even though we've only got two and a quarter games worth of evidence. That's more than enough to not go under a Ty Magai screen. Jordan Thompson with it, working on Bryant. 13 on the clock. Rises up, middle of the paint, left it short. Bryant the rebound. Up ahead to EIA in the corner, Lynn. Quick trigger on a three from Jalen Lynn at short. Wilson tipped it, and then it's knocked out of bounds by Freeman. It'll stay on this end with SNU and a fresh 20 on the clock. Nick Davis will check in for Mo Wilson. Stoddart back in for Freeman. Like you were saying earlier, Luke, I know OBU has a scout. They know that Tyler McGuire has lost two games over 20, and they would still went under. Bryant will trigger it in for SNU, gets it into McGuire. On the curl, three-pointer is long off the back iron. Stoddart clears. SNU leading 27-16, 8.20 to go first half. Putnam with it. It's switched on to EIA. Inside out dribble, drives all the way in. Right hand shot off the glass and good. Burke Putnam with six points, three of five shooting. Putnam does most of his work inside. He's a 39% three-point shooter, but just 36 three-point attempts this season. Bryant has it. Tried to go slip to Davis, wasn't there. Right side, EIA. He'll penetrate to the foul line, to the paint. And the left-hand floater is good from Doak. Ness and you back up by 11, 7.35 to go first half. Fun first half thus far, especially if you're an SNU fan. It's a Crimson Storm shooting 63%. Brantley Thompson down low to Stoddart. Got it to go with the left hand. Davis went hard at the block. Just got a good slap on the backboard for his troubles. Bryant harassed by Putnam. Now Magai with it. Magai behind the Davis pick. Leaves it to the rolling Davis. Blocked by Wilcox, but a foul. Coming up underneath, it's going to go on Putnam. And that'll be his first personal foul, fourth team foul on the Bison, and that'll take us to our under eight timeout. 7.01 to play first half, 29 to 20. SNU with the lead over Oklahoma Baptist. We'll be back after this. Introducing Domino's new two-minute guarantee. Order Domino's car side delivery, check in when you arrive, and we'll be headed out the door less than two minutes after it's ready, or your next pizza is free. Nothing will stop us from getting out the door fast. Rain, snow, wind, oh. and uh, wild animals. Carry out three topping pizzas for $7.99 and put our two-minute guarantee to the test. Welcome back to the Sawyer Center. SNU leading by nine, 29 to 20. Nick Davis at the foul line for two free throws after the foul on Burke Putnam. Nick Davis, 50% at the foul line this season. First free throw attempts of the game for SNU here tonight. And he knocks down the first. SNU averaging 20 free throw attempts per game, but dead last in the conference in free throw percentage at 64%. You can definitely make the case that a couple L's on the ledger have been because they didn't knock down the foul shots. But Davis goes two for two, 31 to 20.
Thompson into the paint. Lost the basketball. Dixon has it. Dixon meanders to the near side. Couldn't get it down low to Davis. Out top to Bryant. Bryant spins away from Jordan Thompson. All the way in. Floater over. Wilcox is good. Xavier Bryant crafty in the paint. And SNU leads by 13, 33 to 20. It's the biggest of the evening. Thompson, fadeaway on the baseline is no good. Davis, the strong rebound. Bryant will bring it up. Hands to McGuy. Now Lynn on the right side. Davis, top of the key, faces up. Hands to McGuy. Now Bryant with it. Bryant diving to the basket. Leaves it back for Lynn. Left wing threes on the line. It's no good. Just off to the right. And Thompson leaves it for Stoddard. Back to Thompson. Right side to Putnam. 5.45 to go. First half. Putnam leaves it for Wilcox. And another two-hand jam for Nigel Wilcox. Backside help didn't come that time, and Wilcox with his second throwdown of the evening. He's got six. Lynn diving down the lane, leaves it back for Dixon. Dixon leaves it down low to Davis, blocked by Stoddard, but he got it up and in, and the foul. That's the second foul on Harrison Stoddard. Not quite sure how Davis managed to spin that one home. But he did indeed, and he's at the line for an extra point. Just couldn't let Wilcox get away with two of those back-to-back -back dunks on OBU's end. He had to get one for himself. Wasn't a dunk, but a little tricky lay-in. So Stoddard checks out. Wilcox also out as Jaquan Sims is back in. And in for the first time is DeMichael Belfield, sophomore from Palestine, Texas. He's a big load, 6'8", 280. Davis's free throw on the way and good. Nick Davis with seven points. He'll check out Mo Wilson into the contest. So SNU leads by 14 now. 36 22, 520 to go first half. They dump it down low to Belfield. Belfield creates some space, puts it up, no good, but a foul coming up on Mo Wilson. Belfield, just three games this season. This is his fourth appearance. Averages just under six minutes per game. If I was OBU, I'd go after the 80-pound size mismatch as well. Belfield's first free throw is no good. Two for three coming into tonight from the charity stripe. Oh, Wilson with the tough assignment here, going up against just a smidge taller and a little bit heavier down in the paint. Belfield goes one for two. 36-23, 5.08 to go. SNU shooting 64%. They're five of 12 from deep. Moat to Magai on the right side. Bison in a 2-3 zone. Wilson down low to Dixon. Got Freeman in the air. Missed the shot. And Thompson comes away with the rebound. Over to Putnam left wing. He'll knife inside all the way to the bucket. Floater over Wilson. Rowles off no good. And Wilson crashes hard for the rebound. Moat between the circles. Left wing to Dixon. Back outside to Moat. Now Lynn. Moat trying to get it inside. It's not there. Lynn has it. Now top of the key, Manny Dixon. Inside to Wilson. Spun away from Belfield. Goes in for the poster. He missed the dunk. Got his own miss. Leaves it back. McGuy, top of the key for three. It's long, no good. And Thompson outraces McGuy for the rebound there. That was a moment where you wish the students were here, Julia. Yeah, that would have been lots of voices, but still on break. Putnam pulls up from the foul line, left it short. Dixon comes in hard for the rebound. He's got it. Putnam now three for seven from the field. Moat, left wing, thought about it. Instead gives it up to Lynn. Lynn drives on Putnam, had it poked away by Freeman. Freeman crossover into the front court. And a free foul given by McGuy to stop the fast break. That'll take us to the under four timeout. 3.43 to go. 
in the first half. 36 to 23. SNU with the lead over the Bison. We'll be back after this. This is SNU Basketball. Wonder where the capital A in Chick-fil-A came from? It started with grade A top quality chicken. But we believed everything, not just the food, should be grade A. A is for all the little things we do to bring you our best every day. To me, the A in Chick-fil-A is a smile. I want to give the guests a little encouragement, maybe just a little joke that makes them laugh when they come through the drive-thru. We can stay six feet apart and have the best air high five. <laughs> Coming up at halftime, we'll go over scores from around the conference on the men's and the women's side. Recap the first half, give you a full breakdown of stats and get you all set for the second half of action here in Bethany. 3.43 to go first half, 36-23 SNU with the lead. That foul on Magai, his first and just the third team foul on the Crimson Storm here in the first 20 minutes of action. So it'll be Trey Green inbounding on the sideline right below us. Backdoor lob for Freeman. It goes right through his hands into the SNU bench. And Josh Davis slams his seat in frustration over on the OBU bench. As a reminder, OBU without head coach Jason Aker tonight out in Scottsdale, Arizona with his father. Our thoughts and prayers. With the Acre family, backdoor pass from a guy. Got Wilcox in the air, but he shuffled his feet on the pump fake. And that'll be the fifth turnover of the half for the Crimson Storm. SNU second in the conference, just 11 per game this season. Jordan Thompson moving left against Bryant, gives it to Sims in the corner. Sims, cross court skip pass to Thompson, knocked away by Bryant into the backcourt. Thompson, a shimmy shake. Crosses over, steps through, missed the shot. Wilcox battles, and Thompson has it. Sims behind the back, gets free of Dixon, kicks it out. Thompson, quick trigger on a three. It's off the mark, no good, and Dixon another rebound, his fourth. He'll leave it back for Bryant, and SNU will walk it up with three minutes to go in the first half. SNU down to 56% shooting. Green knocked that one away out of bounds. SNU scoreless over the last two minutes and change. They're now 5 of 13 after, from deep after starting 4 for 7. They've held the Bison to just 42% shooting and 1 for 6 from deep. Bryant hesitates in the corner. EIA rise and fire for 3, and he tickles the twine. A Dokie EIA into double figures. He's got 10. That's his second long ball. And the Crimson Storm lead is 16, their biggest of the night. Sims over to Thompson. Behind the Freeman pick. Now Green back out Thompson. He'll try to answer with a three of his own, and he does. Jordan Thompson now with six points on two of seven shooting. Two minutes to go, first half, 39-26. Southern Nazarene leading Oklahoma Baptist at the Sawyer Center. Bryant had it knocked away by Thompson. Freeman corrals it. He'll go all the way in. Knocked away by Wilson. Wilcox gets it, goes up, and lays it in. Nice hustle defense by Wilson. SNU unable to prevent a bucket. Adam Bohatch going to call timeout with the lead at 11, 39-28 with 143 to go before halftime. Julia, the SNU offense looking good tonight. Six three-pointers in the first half, 58% shooting. Also done a nice job on the boards, currently leading the Bison 17 to nine in that category. Yeah, something you're excited to see if you are a Storm fan. Uh, the men have been out for just about a month uh, with COVID issues and um, you would think that they would have a little bit of a drop off or a setback, but after that win from Jury, um, a couple weeks ago, they picked up where they left off, and uh, SNU finally getting to see a taste of uh, the Magai show. He's finally back on the, the court, well, for the first time inside the Sawyer Center. 
So SNU basketball out of the timeout, 1.43 to go in the half, 39-28. The Crimson Storm leading the Bison. Bryant across half court, working against Jordan Thompson. Finds him a guy at the foul line. EIA tried to corral the errant pass. Dixon cut in, wasn't sure who Magai was going to. He kind of went between the two. Lynn and Davis coming back in. EIA and Wilson will take a seat. Brantley Thompson back in for Jordan Thompson. And Burke Putnam will come in for Trey Green. So OBU trying to seize some momentum here. They rattled off a quick 5-0 burst. So we'll see if the Bison can take advantage here. Freeman, now to Thompson. Over to Putnam, right wing. Crossover on Lynn. Gets it back outside to Thompson. Thompson drives on Magai. Tried to shovel it over to someone. Got caught in the air and turned it over. Bryant will slow it down with a 109 to go first half. Magai has it between the circles. Checked by the freshman, Freeman. Now Dixon, right wing, working on Sims. Between the legs, Dixon spinning. Good defense there. Davis down low on Freeman. Davis spinning. Left hand shot is good. Nick Davis going to that left hand that has been so good for him this season. He's got nine, and the Crimson Storm lead by 13. Putnam pounding the dribble. Now Thompson right wing. Up top to Freeman. Out to Putnam. Putnam to the paint. Leaves it for Wilcox. Wilcox around Davis off the glass. Too strong, and Davis has the miss. 20 seconds to go in the half. 13-point lead for SNU. The Bison drift back into a 2-3 zone here for the last 10 seconds. Lynn on the right wing. Now to Bryant. Back to Magai in the corner to Lynn. He's wide open, three on the way. It is good as the first half comes to a close here in Bethany. His first three of the night, and the Crimson Storm going to take a 44-28 lead into the locker room with their seventh three-pointer of the first half. A tremendous offensive half for the Crimson Storm here in the first 20 minutes. We'll take a break and be back. With first half stats and analysis, get you ready for the second half of action. This is SNU Basketball. Hello, and welcome to our broadcast. My name is Danny Thomason, and I am the director of intercollegiate athletics here at Southern Nazarene University. You know, we compete in 16 varsity sports in Division II NCAA, and we could not pull that off without the help of a lot of wonderful sponsors. So we would like to take this opportunity during the broadcast to say thank you, thank you, thank you to so many of our wonderful sponsors that help make our athletic competitions possible. So thank you and enjoy the remainder of the broadcast. Bolts up.
Welcome back to the Sawyer Center. It's halftime in Bethany, 44 to 28. The Crimson Storm leading Oklahoma Baptist. The Crimson Storm have led for the duration this evening and have led by double digits for a big part of that as well. And just an outstanding first half here for the Crimson Storm. At the Sawyer Center, Luke McConnell, Julia Schwaki with you. As we go over the first half stats, SNU shooting 61% from the field. They're 7 of 15 from three-point range. A perfect three for three at the foul line. Oklahoma Bound is 43% from the field. Two of eight from deep, two of three at the foul line. The Crimson Storm dominating on the boards thus far, 18 to nine. Of course, Julia, it's hard to get rebounds if you're Oklahoma Baptist if the other team does not miss very often, as has been the case for SNU here in the first half. Julia, what, what's really gone right? Obviously, we have Ty Magai to, uh, to enjoy on the court, and that really seems to have opened things up for the Crimson Storm offensively. Yeah, a couple games back, um, at the beginning of conference and even uh, earlier in the season, Storm were battling just some minor injuries. Um, wasn't really the team that they had hoped for they were missing some key players but now everyone seems to be back for the most part healthy and that's exactly what has sparked this momentum in this return back after missing just about a month so obviously they're gonna have some great offensive gains they're feeling good they're back they're excited um eia is the only player in double figures at the moment but that's about to change once the second half rolls around so everyone's just excited to be back, um, excited to be back in the Sawyer Center. And so the Crimson Storm, again, leading by 16 here in the first half. Six assists in the first half for SNU as well. EIA, as Julia said, the only player in double figures with 10. Eight for Ty Magai, seven for Jalen Lynn, nine points for Nick Davis, who's a perfect three for three from the field, three for three from the foul line. Xavier Bryant, also perfect from the field at three for three with seven points and three assists. Mo Wilson with six rebounds off the bench. Manny Dixon, three points, three rebounds, two assists off the bench. Nigel Wilcox leading the way for the Bison, eight points, six points each for Burke Putnam and Jordan Thompson, five for Harrison Stoddard, two for Brantley Thompson, and one for DeMichael Belfield. Looking at scores from around the conference. Just a quick recap of the women's scores. Northwestern runs their winning streak to seven in a row as they end Swasu's 13-game winning streak with a 79-68 win over the Bulldogs. Just uh, the, Bull the Rangers playing extremely well of late. They only played seven tonight. Two players went the distance, and, both, and they combined for 48, Scout Frame and Bailey Brown. Monticello remains winless as Southern Arkansas takes care of business there. 109 to 73, 100 shots tonight for the Mule Riders. An incredible number. 85-77, Harding defeats Arkansas Tech. So the Golden Suns have now dropped two in a row with the loss. Henderson State. Comes back in the final minute, overcomes 33 from Aspen Thornton to win 91-89-25 for Ashley Farrar tonight. On the men's side, minute and a half to go first half, 27-23. Washita Baptist leads Henderson State. Coming up on halftime, 45-35, Southwestern leading Northwestern up in Alva. Southeastern and East Central underway in the second half, and it is a high-scoring affair. Not a lot of defense. Both teams over 50%. It's East Central leading 54 to 52. 50 to 45 is a halftime score in favor of the Tigers. Southeastern women are on a pause, as well as the Harding men and the Southern Arkansas men. So that is it on. So just four games on the men's side tonight. Five on the women's, and all. Three of those teams will be postponed on Saturday as well. So the SNU women will be facing a fresh East Central women's team that did not play tonight against Southeastern. So just about three minutes and change to go before the start of the second half. And Julia, SNU has moved the ball well, but they've also defended well. 43% shooting 
They have forced five turnovers in the first half to seven of their own. And you know, Oklahoma Baptist, a team that really hasn't shot the three that much this season, just seven makes per game, a little under that officially. They averaged over nine makes per game a season ago. And as high scoring as they've been, the three-pointer hasn't been a huge part of their offense this season. Yeah, a lot of times what gets overlooked um, when teams are putting on an offensive clinic like the Storm are, uh, defense is something that kind of gets tossed to the curb. Um, Storm are putting up a lot of high numbers right now, have been great from behind the three. Uh, but their defense is a lot to be credited for, only allowing OBU to score 28 in the first half. And they lead them 44 with one more half to go. So the Storm just keep on with the defense and the offense just on both ends to a T. I think it'll be a great turnout for them tonight. So both teams back out on the court as we get ready for the second half of play. Just a reminder, we'll be on the road in Ada on Saturday for the second matchup between the Crimson Storm and the Tigers. The women got the better of the Tigers here in Bethany back on December 2nd. The men fell to East Central 51 to 50, so they'll be looking to exact a measure of revenge against East Central on Saturday. But here, our score, 44 to 28. We'll take a short break, and when we come back, the start of the second half here in Bethany, this is SNU Basketball. And welcome back to the Sawyer Center. We are ready to go here in the second half. SNU leading by 16, 44 to 28. Looking to get their first conference win of the season and what a win it would be over their rivals from down I-40, Oklahoma Baptist. The Bison have won three in a row and five of six against SNU. So a win tonight against Oklahoma Baptist would be especially sweet for Adam Bohach and his crew. The Bison without head coach Jason Aker tonight. He is in Arizona with his family. And our thoughts and prayers with the entire Aker family tonight. Time a guy holds left side, working on Nigel Wilcox. It's a screen from Davis, hesitates into the paint, kicks it out, Lynn to the foul line, rises up over Thompson, missed the shot, EIA the offensive rebound, goes back up, off the glass, and it spins home, and the foul! Foul's coming up on Jaquan Sims, that'll be his second personal foul, and he joins Harrison Stoddard with two personal fouls for the Bison. So Adokie EIA at the line for a free throw, first player other than Nick Davis at the line for SNU tonight. EIA rims that one out, no good. The lead is 18, 46 to 28. Thompson on the right side. Backdoor lob looking for Putnam, and he lays it in for two. Putnam wanted a foul on Lynn as he went up. And a delay of game 
Warning is given to Burke Putnam. Lynn to EIA, standing on the SNU logo. Now left side, Lynn. He'll drive all the way to the bucket, kicks it out to Bryant. In the corner, Magai. Three-pointer on the way is off the front iron. Davis, the offensive rebound. Back out to Magai on the right wing. He drives in, spins, got Stoddard in the air, forced it up, and that'll be foul number three on Harrison Stoddard. A nice crafty play there by Tyler Magai, and he'll head to the free throw line. He's four for five this season in two games played. Great job by SNU early on, using the pump fakes, drawing OBU fouls, and now they're at the line. The guy misses the first one. He heads out behind the three-point line to collect his thoughts. Stoddard checks out, DJ Freeman in. The guy's second free throw is good. Putnam running the offense. Crosses over on Lynn. Another crossover. Hands to Thompson. Thompson back to Putnam. Lynn right there. Now Wilcox on the baseline. Working on Davis. 15-footer on the way. Rattled in. Nigel Wilcox with 10 points. He leads the Bison in scoring. Both post players with an excellent night thus far. Nine points for Nick Davis, 10 for Nigel Wilcox. And a foul coming up on DJ Freeman guarding the pick and roll. That'll be his first. Third foul already on the Bison in the half. Lynn had that one poked out of his hands from behind by Brantley Thompson, and it'll be SNU basketball once more in front of their own bench. Inbounds comes to Davis. Gives it to Bryant. 12 on the shot clock. Bryant leaves it back for McGuy. Got Freeman in the air. Resets. Three-pointer on the way is short. Davis the offensive rebound. Davis. Fights through Thompson. Missed the shot, but a foul coming up on OBU. It's going to be on Freeman. That'll be number two on Freeman, and Nick Davis back at the line for two free throws. Jason Aker may not be here, but the demonstrative, his demonstrative nature is definitely still here on the sidelines with Zach Rogers and Josh Davis running the show for the Bison. Yeah, OBU has a large fan turnout. Most of the sections we're looking at are entirely green and yellow, so OBU has a great support system here with Acre out. Davis goes one for two. Lead back to 16 at 48-32. As we saw in the first game tonight, no lead is safe. Even here at the Sawyer Center for Southern Nazarene. Putnam left side behind the screen from Wilcox. Hesitates into the paint, got by Davis, got it, and the foul from behind on Nick Davis. First on Davis, first team foul on the Crimson Storm, and Burke Putnam to the line for the first time tonight. Puts him into double figures with 10 points. Putnam, 79% foul shooter this season. He cans that free throw. And the lead back to 13 at 48-35. SNU has struggled offensively in the second half of the last five games. 26, 42, 30, 44, and 33 are their second half shooting percentages the last five. Davis inside. Left hand layup is good by Nick Davis. Putnam tried to take a charge. Adam Bohach wanting a flop warning. Holding his head in his hands over there for a moment. Freeman out top. Now Putnam. Thompson in the corner behind the Wilcox screen. Dumps it down to him, but it goes right through his hands out of bounds. Stoddart, Trey Green, and Jordan Thompson check in for the Bison. Wilcox, Putnam, and Sims will head to the bench. Mo Wilson checks in for Nick Davis, who will head to the bench with 12 points and five rebounds. 
tied for team high honors. Bryant hands to McGuy. Now Lynn retrieves on the right side. Gives to Wilson, top of the key. Now McGuy has it. He'll hand to Bryant. Bryant trying to get free. Finally does. Into the paint. Kick corner Lynn. He's open. Pulls the trigger for three. Skips over the rim. No good. Wilson, the offensive rebound. He'll send it back up to McGuy. McGuy, run off the line. Floater in the lane. Rolls off. Wilson there with a tip up and in. See the vertical from assistant coach Ryan Mahoney over there on the bench. That was pretty great. He's been ahead of the strength and conditioning for a while, so maybe he's been working on that. And now a moving screen called on Harrison Stoddart. That is number four on Stoddart and the fifth foul on the Bison here in the first half. Six, or in the second half, I should say. 16-17 to play. And they're going to leave Stoddard out there with four fouls. Sure, OBU is a little nervous about that. It's one of their key players for the Bison. Bryant to Wilson. Over to McGuy. McGuy at the block, forced it up over Green. No good. Thompson coming the other way. Leaves it for Jordan Thompson now on the left side. Working on Bryant, crosses over, gets into the paint. Now reverses field, back on the baseline, and a foul coming up on Xavier Bryant. That'll take us to a timeout on the court. 15.49 to play, SNU up by 17, 52-35. We'll be back after this. This is SNU basketball. Welcome back to the Sawyer Center. SNU leading 52-35. Crimson Storm have started, started the game hot offensively, and they've continued here in the second half. Holding off the Bison. Gotten a lot of good looks. Thompson in the paint off the back iron, and it drops through. Ian Moat back in for SNU along with Manny Dixon out of the timeout. Crimson Storm with six offensive rebounds already here in the second half. Unable to cash in too much though. There's three of, three of 10 from the field. So Michael Belfield in the game. Wilson drives by him, leaves it for the cutting. Dixon left the shot short and Thompson has the miss. Thompson leaves for Trey Green. Right side, Jordan Thompson. Quick trigger on a three. It's off the back iron, no good. Rebound tipped by Dixon, and Lynn comes in to secure it. Lynn dashing into the front court. He'll pull back, leave it for Moat on the right side. He knifes into the paint. Around Thompson with the left hand, too strong. Belfield, the rebound. Thompson crosses over, leaves it back for Brantley Thompson to the left elbow and backs it out. He'll drive on McGuy. Fadeaway jumper for Thompson. Hits the front iron to the backboard and crawls in. So four quick ones here for the Bison out of the break. 52-39, our score. Moat working against Jordan Thompson. Leaves it for Wilson, top of the key. Wilson got Belfield in the air, spins over the other shoulder and puts in the soft baby hook. Wilson's second field goal to go along with eight rebounds. Thompson on the baseline, checked by McGuy. 
Pulls up for a long 20-footer. That's an air ball. Belfield tracks down the offensive rebound. Lynn has it thrown into his gut out of bounds to save the possession for the Bison. Putnam and Freeman check in. Thompson and Belfield out. Davis and EIA back in as Magai and Wilson will take a seat. Putnam sends it all the way into the backcourt for Freeman. Putnam has it with 10 on the clock. Working on Lynn. Putnam, step back, 20-footer, short. Davis up high for the rebound. And then Trey Green ties him up and forces the jump ball and the possession arrow. Will favor the Bison here, a fresh 20 for Oklahoma Baptist. Putnam into Thompson, quick trigger on a three. It's no good. Rebound goes off of Green, out of bounds. VS New Basketball. Jordan Thompson not shy. Had a couple good games in Bethany last year as a true freshman. He's three for ten tonight. Lynn, left side EIA, into the paint, down the lane, blocked by Freeman who bats it back out, Dixon has it. Dixon, pump fake, EIA in the corner. Top of the key, Moat. three-pointer is on the way, and good from the freshman, Ian Moat on the board. And SNU leads by 18 again, 57-39. Entry pass for Wilcox, what a catch in the post. He spins around Davis, reverse layup is good. Nigel Wilcox showing off the athleticism there on that play start to finish. The lead back to 16. Wilcox now at 12. Lynn holding in the near corner. Now to Dixon. He'll rise and fire for three. And he bangs it in for his second triple of the night. 19-point lead for SNU, 60-41. to 41. The Crimson Storm answering every blow the Bison try to inflict. Putnam behind the screen. All the way in, create space, deep fadeaway jumper is short, but it falls in as it crawls over the rim. Yes, and you will be fine with that degree of difficulty every time. Moat gives to Lynn, who gives to EIA between the circles. He finds himself open. His triple is good! A Tokyo EIA with his third deep one of the night. And SNU now 10 three-pointers and 21 attempts. The lead is 20 for the Crimson Storm. Thompson leaves it back for Putnam, but Lynn went for the steal, lost it. EIA diving on the floor, gives it to Davis. He's on the floor, and a timeout call by SNU. Fist pumps all around for Adam Bohatch's crew. Three separate players on the floor. That's the hustle you love to see. Josh Davis wondering why it's not backcourt. Doesn't matter. 11.50 to go. 63-43. SNU ball when we come back. Welcome back to the Sawyer Center where the energy is high. And Julia, what a, I mean, I don't know. It just feels like such a big moment when you see basically your whole team diving on the floor, going after loose balls. I mean, what a lift that gives you. Yeah, when one player does it, that's, I mean, that's already good enough that the whole team, the whole bench, 
all the fans will get hyped, but when three are on the floor, that's that's all you want to see right there. SNU ball out of the timeout as all the effort secured the possession. Pass poked away by Brantley Thompson. EIA tracked it down in the backcourt. Wilson has it up top, guarded by Freeman. Wilson driving, kick, Bryant three-pointer on the way. It's off no good. Sims tips the rebound, and Putnam comes away with it. Putnam between the circles, working on Jalen Lynn. Lynn's had the assignment all night when he's been in. Entry pass for Brantley Thompson, and it's knocked away by Dixon, and Thompson kicked it out of bounds. And that'll take us to our official media timeout with 11.14 to play. So we'll take it again and be back right after this. Oba's new Chicken Diablo nachos are made with hand-diced pico de gallo, which means they're as fresh as... Mm. They're also loaded with juicy adobo chicken, flame grill in-house, so they're as flavorful as... And they're topped off with fiery queso Diablo, so they're as spicy as... New Chicken Diablo Nachos. Try them today, only at Q-Doba. United by flavor. And we're back to action here at the Sawyer Center. SNU leading by 20, 63-43. A foul coming up on Burt Putnam with the body check on Xavier Bryant. That's the sixth team foul on the Bison. This is the second on Putnam. Harrison Stoddart back into the contest. He's got four personal fouls. SNU in no semblance of foul trouble whatsoever. Two fouls in the half, just five for the entire game. EIA into the paint, outside to Magai. McGuy working on Wilcox. He drives, backing down Wilcox into the paint. A couple bumps, a fadeaway. Wilcox got a piece of it. Dixon tried to tip it toward the basket, no good. But he got the EIA, the offensive rebound, still fought for, and Thompson stepped on the end line trying to save it. It'll stay here with SNU. More hustle by the Crimson Storm tonight. The hustle is there, and they're staying out of foul trouble is great for the defensive end of this game. McGuy spins on Wilcox, bodies into him, goes up, left it short again. And Wilcox outlets it to Putnam. Putnam drives on EIA, out to Sims. His three-pointer from the corner is good. Jaquan Sims, first bucket of the game. Still 10 minutes to play. A lot of time in this one. This one will not be over till the clock hits zero. EIA controls against Sims. Out to McGuy. Just three for 12 in his home debut. Over to Bryant, left wing. Guarded by Putnam now. Bryant splits the double team. Floater. Got it! And the foul as he was clipped from behind by Putnam. And that's number three on Burke Putnam in the seventh team foul on the Bison. So Jordan Thompson checks in for Putnam. Xavier Bryant at the line. He's got nine. Left the free throw short. Stoddard in for the rebound. SNU now five of nine from the foul line. But they lead by 19, 65, 46. Jaquan Sims now to Stoddard. Now to Sims. Step back three over Dixon. No good. Stoddard the offensive rebound. And he's fouled as he missed the putback attempt. EIA with the grab there. He'll send Stoddart to the line for two free throws. Stoddart with five points has only played 14 minutes tonight. 
courtesy of those four personal fouls. SNU now with 10 offensive rebounds in the second half alone. Stoddart's first free throw is up and good. Putnam checks back in for Wilcox. Second one from Stoddart is good as well. So the lead is 17-65-48. SNU's led the entire way tonight. Bryant working against Thompson. Thompson nearly poked it away. Bryant on the baseline to Wilson. Kick out EIA. Three pointer on the way. Yes, sir. A Tokia EIA. 18 for him. That's his fourth triple of the night. Thompson on the right wing. Behind the screen from Stoddart. Now it gets a screen from Thompson. Working on McGuy. He'll drive all the way in, forced it up with the right hand, and good. He went, came away looking for the foul. He's got 10. He's been forcing the issue all night, 4 of 11 from the field. Bryant. Continues harassed by the freshman, but he got by him with a nifty move, and he coasts in for the layup. Bryant with 11 now. Ness and you. Keep an OBU at a distance, and the lead remains 20. Putnam on the right wing, extended now between the circles. Thompson over to Jordan Thompson now. He'll drive on Bryant, and Bryant fouled him out top. He's riding his hip a little bit. That'll be the second foul on Bryant, and officially the first SNU player with two fouls with 8.25 to play. Bryant, Wilson, and Dixon will check out as Lynn, Davis, and Moat check back in for the Crimson Storm. Putnam sends it up top to Stoddart. He'll rise up over EIA, miss it off the back iron. Wilcox there for the putback. As Nigel Wilcox continues his nice night, 14 points. For him, Jordan Thompson's out. Trey Green is in. McGuy working on Wilcox now. Drives all the way in. Missed it. Might have been blocked by Wilcox. Stoddart clears. Up ahead, Putnam with it on the right wing. Back to the trailing Stoddart. Stoddart drives all the way in. Bumped. Fouled. And he'll go to the line for two free throws when we come back. 7.49 to play in Bethany. SNU leading by 18, 70 to 52. We'll be back after this. This is SNU basketball. Welcome back to the Sawyer Center, 70 to 52. Southern Nazarene leading Oklahoma Baptist, 7.49 to play. And Harrison Stoddard at the line for two free throws. He knocks down the first. Julia, <laughs> Oklahoma Baptist shooting 63% here in the second half. SNU's countered by making four three-pointers in their 10 made free throw, 10 made field goals. 
Stoddard goes two for two. The lead is 16. This one certainly not anywhere close to over. Yeah, interesting to see Stoddard out there with still those four fouls. He's been out there for a while now. Definitely going to have to be smart. See if SNU can dump it inside to Nick Davis and get that fifth one. EIA working on Putnam. EIA hesitates, drives, spins, puts it up. Off the mark, no good. EIA tipped the rebound. Stoddard tips it ahead. Putnam on the right wing. He drives in and somehow split three different SNU defenders there and laid it in for two. It's a 14-point game, a 6-0 burst by the Bison here. 7-12 to play. About the same margin in time that SNU was up a year ago, the last time these two faced off in Bethany. Davis, backing down Stoddard, kicks it back out to Magai. Magai, seven on the clock, drives all the way in, off the glass and good. SNU with a bucket to stop that run. Jordan Thompson behind the back dribble. Floater off the glass and good as he got knocked from behind by Magai. So Jordan Thompson again off the bench being a thorn in the Crimson Storm's side. He's got 12. Ian Moat and Nick Davis check out. Trey Green is out as Nigel Wilcox and Jaquan Sims back in. Now Wilcox checks out as Freeman comes back in. Manny Dixon back in as well. Storm still looking good on the foul side of things. Only have three players so far with just two fouls. Thompson dips, knocks in the free throw. 13 point game, 72-59. Bison have already outscored their first half total of 28. They've got 31 here in the second half. Bryant behind the Wilson pick. Fires it down low to him on the bounce, and Wilson got it to roll in. Nearly blew it. We can look at that roll as burning an extra second off the clock. Thompson over to Sims. And then Lynn shoots the passing lane. One on one with Putnam, he goes all the way in. High off the glass, he got it to go. Timeout, Oklahoma Baptist, what a take by Jalen Lynn. Floated it way up over the square as it kisses the backboard and falls in. And Julia, big response here by the Crimson Storm to get this back to a 17 point game. Now they felt OBU creeping up just a tad in those last couple of minutes, but the Storm were not gonna go down so easy in Lynn. Insane layup. That just takes skill right there. I mean, he knew that one of the OBU members was jumping way too high. Like you said, got it to kiss the backboard and fall in. OBU shooting 67% from the field in the second half. SNU's at 43% but they're aided by the fact they have 10 offensive rebounds in the second half. They have 12 more field goal attempts. So it just feels, it feels like they're still shooting lights out because shots are still falling. They've made 13 shots in the second half compared to 12 for the Bison. They've just taken 12 more, which is killing their numbers. But I'm sure at the end of the night, Adam Bohaj not gonna worry about the numbers as much if it equates to a win. Sims three-pointers off the mark, Lynn. Races around, floater is good, and the foul! The foul is gonna be from behind on Brantley Thompson. So Jalen Lynn with a personal 4-0 burst, he can make it a 5-0 burst and push the lead back to 20. Here with this free throw. Lynn 73% at the line this season, Putnam We'll check in for Sims, Wilcox, and Jordan Thompson back in as well as Green and Belfield will sit down. Lynn is new to the Storm squad, so OBU hasn't seen him yet, and especially since this is the Storm and 
Bison's first meeting, but they'll get to know him quick. Lynn knocks down the free throw. He's got 12. All five starters in double figures for the Crimson Storm tonight. You love your chances when that happens. Brantley Thompson left wing against McGuy. Now Jordan Thompson behind the back dribble. Bryant right there in his hip pocket. Thompson step back over Bryant is a just kisses the rim, but the foul is going to go on Bryant for the hit on the elbow. And that's going to be number three on Xavier Bryant with 5.18 to play. Jordan Thompson at the line for free throws. He's two for two there tonight, both on three-point play opportunities. It's a little bit of a late call there. Ref kind of waited a couple seconds before he looked at the table. Thompson missed the first free throw. 73% at the line this season. Averaged seven and a half points, two and a half assists per game as a true freshman last year. Averaging eight and two rebounds, three assists this year. Thompson missed the free throw, and Xavier Bryant, all six foot of him, went up by himself in the crowd and got the rebound. Now he crosses over Thompson across the paint. Out to Lynn, three-pointer on the way from Lynn. Skips over the rim, no good. And then the rebound bobbled out of bounds by the Bison. Freeman fumbled it and went off Putnam, and SNU will maintain possession, and Freeman will obviously quickly head to the bench. Bryant has to get it in, lobs it in to Wilson. Hands to Bryant, Bryant into the paint, around Stoddard, missed the shot, Wilcox up high for the rebound. Putnam into the front court, crosses over on Lynn, spinning, picks up his dribble at the foul line, gives to Jordan Thompson, around the corner, looking for contact, missed the shot, rebound tipped around, Stoddard finally secures it. Brantley Thompson, he'll rise and fire left wing for three and he knocked it down. Timeout OBU with 4.35 to play, 79-62. The Bison trailing the Crimson Storm. A 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here. SNU, 51% for the game, 11 of 24 from three-point range. The Bison also shooting 51%, courtesy of 62% in the second half. Four of 15 from three tonight. Not a lot of free throws both ways, just a combined 21 free throws tonight. SNU 6 of 10, and the Bison 8 for 11. Biggest difference right now, 10 turnovers for the Bison, 8 for SNU, but SNU 13 to 2 in points off turnovers. So taking advantage of those Bison mistakes and getting out and turning those into points. Guy will trigger it in. Wilcox guarding him, and Bryant will work it up against Putnam. EIA between the circles as Freeman's back out there right now. Magai out to Bryant. Ten on the clock. Down low to Davis. A couple pump fakes. Got Stoddard in the air. Off the glass. No good. And Stoddard clears. Four minutes to play, 17-point lead for the Crimson Storm. Putnam, top of the key, drives by McGuy all the way in, up and under, got it to go. Great drive there by Burke Putnam, he's got 17. On eight of 13 shooting. And it seems like it's been made very difficult for him tonight, even with those really efficient numbers. Bryant on the left wing. Nice bounce pass down to Davis, and he put it on Freeman's head! Oh, a man's jam from Nick Davis! Putnam on the left wing. Goes away from the Wilcox screen, Putnam. Euro steps into the lane, got it, and the foul on Jalen Lynn with 3.18 to play. So Burke Putnam will be at the line for one when we come back. 81 to 66, the Crimson Storm leading. We will be back with the finish right after this. 
wonder where the capital A in Chick-fil-A came from? It started with grade A top quality chicken. But we believed everything, not just the food, should be grade A. A is for all the little things we do to bring you our best every day. To me, the A in Chick-fil-A is a smile. I want to give the guests a little encouragement, maybe just a little joke that makes them laugh when they come through the drive-thru. We can stay six feet apart and have the best air high five. Welcome back to the Sawyer Center, 81-66. SNU leading Oklahoma Baptist with 3.18 to play. Burke Putnam at the line looking to complete the three-point play out of the timeout. He's got 19 tonight. Give him still 19 as he left the free throw short. EIA clears and SNU looking to finish things off here at the Sawyer Center. Their first game in nearly a month. They're looking to get their first conference win of the season. Bryant gives it to the diving Davis, and he soars in for another rack attack. Nick Davis with 16 points tonight, six rebounds. He has been outstanding for the Crimson Storm this evening. Putnam at the foul line, kicks it out to Wilcox, into the paint, and he's Pushed and fouled by Davis, and he got the layup to go. That'll be the second on Davis. And Mo Wilson will check in for the sophomore. He will head to the bench. He might have to check those rims tomorrow, at least on the right side of the court. Nick Davis has been all over it tonight. Wilcox up and in with his free throw. He's got 17 tonight on eight of 10 shooting. So the two post players going at it combined 33 tonight. Bryant to EIA. Out to McGuy on the left wing. Now EIA with it, diving to the basket, cut off, looking for help. Finds it in Lynn, 12 on the clock. Lynn, driving kick, Bryant with five. Back out to Lynn in the corner. Got Thompson in the air. To McGuire, top of the key. 4-3. And a beautiful piece of ball movement by the Crimson Storm. What a cheery on top of this one. As McGuire cans his third three of the night. And SNU up by 17. You just love that, Julia, when the shot clock's winding down, but you're players know you can you have enough time to make one more pass to get the best shot possible and you're rewarded at the buzzer best shot possible to possibly the best shooter for the storm he's only three for eight from the night but man into the shot clock like you said he cans it in fans were on their feet it's electrifying especially with this 86 to 69 gap with only two minutes left to play. The second highest point total of the season for SNU is the highest in regulation. They needed two overtimes against Missouri Southern to score 88 points in the second game of the season. But 86 points. Adam Bohatch, a big efficiency guy. They have point per possession goals on each end of the court. It'll be exciting to get the exact number on points per possession for this offensive output tonight. And the Bison have waved the white flag as they put in the subs. Tice Baldwin, Jordan Thompson, Trey Green, Jack Pruitt, and DeMichael Belfield are the five out there for SNU, or excuse me, for OBU. Belfield backing down Wilson, 
Right hand hook fading, no good. Pruitt the rebound, tipped away from him, and Baldwin has it. He'll drive baseline, runs over Mo Wilson, offensive foul. Mo Wilson took the charge on Tice Baldwin. And SNU empties the bench as well. Mike Bauer, Jackson Rothwell, Ian Moat, and Matt Tracy into the game for the Crimson Storm. They'll stay out. Jalen Lynn will stay out there with them. Excellent showing by five of the Storm players tonight. We've got EIA, McGuy, Lynn, Davis, and Bryant all in double figures. Legend Barrett comes in for the Bison. 1.48 to play. Bauer gets it into Lynn. Harassed in the corner. Bauer up ahead to Moat. A little high, but Moat corrals it. Tracy has it in the corner, and SNU will set things up. Moat crossing over on Green. Back out to Rothwell in the corner. He'll drive all the way in, and coasts in for the layup. Thought Jackson Rothwell was going to go for the poster, but he flips it in for two. Thompson rises up for three, left it short. Lynn has the rebound, and Adam Bohaj holds up the stop sign. 1-10 to play, SNU going to run their winning streak to two games and get their first conference win of the season. They've been so close in a couple. Close loss at Southwestern, a one-point loss here against OBU. Foul on Baldwin will send Jackson Rothwell to the line for two shots. Caden Knight checks in, or is going to check in. After the first free throw for Rothwell. It's free throw on the way and long. And Zach Franklin getting his first action of his SNU career. As he checks in for Jalen Lynn. Jordan Thompson out, Caden Knight in. Freshman from Liberty Hill, Texas. Rothwell the miss, Bauer the miss, but he was fouled on the putback attempt by Pruitt. And Mike Bauer will go to the line for two free throws. Bauer's first on the way and good. Bauer goes two for two. 90 to 69, the Crimson Storm putting the finishing touches on what has been a very, very impressive win. Kate Knight all the way in, he draws a foul. It's going on Bauer. So Knight will go to the line for two free throws. His first free throw attempts of his career. A lot of lost keys tonight here at the Sawyer Center, apparently. And yeah, nice announcement by Mark Brown as OBU has a member at the line. Just double checked my pockets, make sure I have all my keys. As Knight goes two for two at the line, 90 to 71. Entry pass comes to Rothwell. He's doubled, gives it over to Bauer. Bauer works it back over to Rothwell. 40 seconds. SNU will need to shoot one more time here with 35 seconds. And counting. Moat. A lot of bumping and poking. But Moat tracks it down in the corner. Looking for help. Needing help. Fires it up top to Tracy. Three on the clock. Tracy straight away three. <laughs> oh, why not? Matt Tracy knocks down the triple. That kind of night for the Crimson Storm. Baldwin in the paint. Shovels over to Barrett. Went up with it, lost it, put it back up and in. Got away with a blatant travel, but that's okay. And that's how it's going to end here in Bethany. The Crimson Storm get their first win in GAC play this year as they wallop the Bison 93-73 to here at the Sawyer Center. And Julia, the Crimson Storm, offensively, easily their best night of the season. Perhaps 
you know, if you went back in the numbers, maybe not efficiency-wise, but just straight looking at the numbers, easily one of the best performances of the season for the Crimson Storm. 54% shooting, 13 of 26 from deep, 8 of 14 at the foul line, just eight turnovers. It was a superb performance by SNU tonight. Yeah, that is definitely one way to welcome the storm back inside the Sawyer Center after not playing for nearly a month. They got hit with the COVID bug, and you would think that they would be a little cold, maybe a little rusty, but not the case tonight. Definitely special practices uh, prior to this contest, and like you said, almost outstanding in every category, and I mean, might not be as efficient as Coach Bohodge wanted. I mean, he's a perfectionist, I would assume, so he... He probably wanted it a little bit better than what they had showed, but it definitely worked out for them tonight. 20-point victory to open back up conference play. Yeah, you know that Adam Bohunch is going to be looking at the 45 points and the 63% shooting in the second half for OBU. At the same time, SNU shot 12 more shots than the Bison, and they made two more than the Bison in that second half. So just a dominating performance for the Crimson Storm. The Bison shot 53% from the field. They were four of 16 from deep, 11 of 15 at the foul line. Individually for SNU, 18 for Adokie EIA, 14 for Tyler McGuire, 12 for Jalen Lynn, 16 and six rebounds for Nick Davis. We'll talk to him in just a minute. 11 points for Xavier Bryant, two for Mike Bauer, six for Mo Wilson, along with a team high eight rebounds, three for Ian Moat, three for Matt Tracy, two for Jackson Rothwell, and six and five rebounds for Manny Dixon. 19 points for Burke Putnam, 17 for Nigel Wilcox, 13 off the bench for Jordan Thompson, nine for Brantley Thompson, nine and seven rebounds for Harrison Stoddart, three for Jaquan Sims, two for Caden Knight, two for Legend Barrett, and one for DeMichael Belfield. Julia, big, big stat tonight, 16 offensive rebounds for SNU, 12 of those coming in the second half and allowing SNU, despite, you know, maybe you know, just a shade under 50% offensively, but still 19 made field goals in the second half as they win this one going away. We'll step aside on the crossover radio side. We will have Adam Bohotch and Nick Davis coming up on our post-game stream on the SNU Athletics YouTube channel. Be sure to switch over to that for those post-game interviews. Again, the final score, SNU 93, Oklahoma Baptist, 73. We'll be back after this.